taking a lovely walk here in the village area here in Dunga just a few kilometers away from Kisumu city so this is a real vibe of the local life here you can see down there that's where someone live the cow has been grazed it's actually tied actually this cow is tied and there's ducks in the distance there real local vibe and mainly the people in this community are from the Luo tribe the Luo community so Luo, the language of Luo is spoken but, yeah, but people can also speak Kiswahili and English We're coming up to a local du duka here or a shop and you can get things like tomatoes and different things like that. The shop is actually made out of galvanized. So I guess they cater to the local needs of the people that live in the area. Different modes of transport from this side. You can get, of course, the border border as a motorcycle. You can also get the bajaji, that's the tuk tuk, and also the taxi as well can be get. You can get to come here, so that's quite good, quite convenient for people that may want to visit the area. So down this side, of course, people live here. This is what the village is like in the area. There's some goats grazing in the grass there. And in the distance, I can see some of the mountains here in Kisumu County. Really beautiful guys, especially in the evening times. Really nice, cool weather. Perfect time for a nice evening walk. Really loving the vibe so far, guys, here in Dunga. Kisumu Bear. Kisumu Bear. Kisumu is a nice place. Kisumu is good. One of the amazing things when you travel to different parts of Africa and you visit communities like these, it's the peace and tranquility that's, that's there, you know, that laid back feel. And it gives you a lot of time to reflect and think about your life and really appreciate the finer things in life, you know, and it, it humbles you to a certain degree. 
because you, you, you visit places where some people may not have some of the creature comforts, as they say, that you may have in so-called developed countries, but people still get on with life. People try to still make ends meet. They still have this communal vibes amongst the people, which is always wonderful to see when you travel to here. But one thing I am mindful of, one of the reasons, in my view, many people can still enjoy areas like these when they're coming from Western countries is because, of course, with the currency exchange and different things like that, you may not have to worry about other things that the locals might have to worry about. Because, of course, for example, you can have a US dollar and that US dollar could probably get you a meal, a drink, could pay for a transport or something like that. Whereas someone, to make that one US dollar in some areas, that might take them a day. So, one of the things, one of the things I often hear people say is that it's cheap. It's cheap when they come here. But do, do be mindful that for some people, what you may consider cheap because you have had the privilege of being able to have lived and grew up in a country where at the moment the currency is high. Doesn't mean that you should, you know, just be saying that in front of the locals all the time. Because for them it's not, it's not as easy as you, you think. So that's one of the things you have to be mindful of when you visit various places. And it's not only in Africa, in other parts of the world. But we do appreciate the simple things in life, you know. For example, these young boys are enjoying a lovely game of football here. No PlayStation, no Xbox, no trapped in some playground on a project or in the, on a council estate or in the projects. Just out here in nature enjoying a game of football. Now these are some of the finer things in life you know and this creates a certain bonding and commu community spirit amongst the young people from an early age so they don't have to worry about it's not they're not playing for money it's not premier league it's just a game for them to enjoy each other have fun and then they go home and appreciate the bonding they create amongst themselves that community spirit and the fact when games like football and things started in in indigenous societies the purpose was to bring people together. It wasn't a commercial thing to make money or, you know, sell people to another team and all of that. It was for the, strictly for communal purposes, communal spirit of bringing people together. And you see these things like what we're witnessing right now. I really like Kisumu because you can go to different parts in Kisumu and what you'll witness is some parts it's quite busy, great sense of business, a lot going on. It could even seem chaotic for some people. And then other parts you just have peaceful vibes like here. These are parts of Lake Victoria. Now we have the reeds that's covering some of the lake here. That's all the reeds in the distance here. But these are water that's coming from the actual lake here. It's after 5 p.m. here. It's coming up to sunset time. And as the sun set there in the distance, it's absolutely beautiful and amazing, guys. I don't think the camera is doing the sunset justice, but I do hope that you got a glimpse of that right now.
There's also different hotels located around Dunga Beach and some are even on the you know on the lake shore where, where literally when you rise in the morning you have the lake right in front of your room or bedroom so I have a video which I did on Lake Victoria on this channel you could definitely check it out in the playlist so you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about but you could definitely check out Dunga Beach if you punch that in Dunga Beach Kisumu on booking.com you will find the various hotels that are available so when you come here you can check it out definitely a peaceful place guys and like I said in the evening times they got this live live band vibe going on which is good so you should definitely check that out if you come here live band your thing if live band is your thing you definitely enjoy what they, they have here. They have this kind of, um, it's the, the music is sung in the Luo language, but they have guitars and drums playing. It's still a nice vibe. You can still da dance to the music. You know, un music is universal. Once you feel the rhythm, you move your feet, you know. I don't know if you can hear the, the birds here. Yeah, they're chirping a lot. Alright guys, it's just a little walk I'm giving you here in the village. Just wanted you to get an idea of what Dunga village is like, the surrounding areas. We've seen the beach areas in previous videos and stuff like that. So just giving you a great idea of what you expect to see when you come here. So I do trust that you have enjoyed this village walk here in Dunga, Kisumu. And I do appreciate your time guys for always coming back and watching my videos. Okay, my name is Wemba Imani and thank you for watching Inspire for Travel.